Maybe there's nothing here tonight. Ah, ah, ah. A freaking mist. In this hallway right here. Oh my God, I see, you see it. it. Yes, I do. Yeah. And it's moving. It's with the ITC. You want to go downstairs? Come on, guys. Dude, no, he, he's not having it. Go, it's okay, Reg. No. He peed. No. I le <laughs> he legit peed. Just now. Yeah, he's, he's so scared. On August 8th, 1969, Charles Manson's family descended on Roman Polanski's home on Cielo Drive in Beverly Hills and brutally murdered five people, including Polanski's wife, actress Sharon Tate, and 18-year-old Stephen Parent. While the original house is no longer standing, the Omen house was built only 150 feet away from the murder scene. The owner, David Omen, is convinced murder victims still haunt his home. I'm not really going to mummify. What a trip! I'm not really going to mummify. All right, I'm that's the, all right, you got to use some mummy. Over the last 20 years, David has set up cameras in every corner of the home to document the unexplained. According to Omen, this house contains much more than the spirits of 1969. Alright fam, so we are right in front of the Omen house, considered to be the most haunted house in Beverly Hills, California. The owner, really nice guy, his name's David Omen, decided to surprise him with a dessert. Yeah, he has no idea. And this is, it's actually called the Beverly Cake. We bought this in Calabasas, California. Very expensive. I'm not even gonna say how much I paid for it. This does not say the Omar house. It says the Omen house. We got a, some brownies and a couple other fancy things. It's gonna be fun. This is how we know we're in the right place. Right there it says Haunted House Tours. Let's meet David. He's a fun guy. What the hell? I'm glad you're doing that out there. We're hearing noises already. Omar was blasting in the car. <laughs> He's like, man, I need to get enough out in the car. <laughs> Can you ring this? Uh, I hope he comes out in the mask and scares the <laughs> daddy or something. Oh, that's pretty fancy. Hey, it's your worst nightmare. Eat more content. Oh. Dude, do you think like earthquakes are bad out here? I'm sure, like mudslides too? Yeah, like the, his backyard is on a cliff. <laughs> I can't wait to show it to you. Yo, oh, God. Oh, 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 that's good. I am the worst. I called it. Oh, my gosh. Hey, fools. 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 Come on in. How you doing? Uh, Hi, guys. Hi, guys. This is, this is James. James. Yeah. James. James. Yeah. You're going James. Gene. That's Gene. Yeah. James is the side of beef, my God. <laughs> and Paul's a goddamn hey, oak. Bright oh, Jesus. oh, Jesus Christ. Take a pic video of this. You know you've got to video this. Here, hold on. Let me get the lights on. That's some sick <laughs> That's, that's, that's. It, it's a good cake. It's a good cake. <laughs> got, got, a, got a couple of treats in here for you, too. Oh, cool. Uh, Hi, guys. Hi, guys. That's Reggie. That's Piper. Hi. How you doing? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this, You're this so cute. Cool. They get along with the cat? Oh, of course, they've got three cats. They all get along. The dogs and the cats get between. Gene Wait. loves cats. Yeah. I, I love animals, so I'm an animal head. Is that, all, is that your guys' car, I guess? Yeah. All right, fine. Because that's the house that's for sale right that's now. That's the one. At yeah. first, I was like, is his house for sale? But no, I'll die in this house before this house is sold. So is that house so haunted that they put it for sale? No, 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 no. The, the owners owned it for 27 years and he actually ha has been living in another house for several years now. And he said his wife said, I want to sell the house. The market's right. So okay. put it up for sale. Is that the house over there that got knocked down? The or where was that at? It was down the road? That's that's where Sharon's house stood. That's the house that we're talking about that got torn down in 1994. So it was the house at the end? The house at the end of the drive, yeah. We are here at the scene of one of Hollywood's most heinous, most infamous murder sites. That's the place that's 85 million right now. 85 million dollars. Yeah, and you'd think you'd have a helipad for that kind of money, you know? Should I make my own helipad with this over there? They might shoot it down. 
<laughs> I wouldn't put it past it. He had the John okay. Stamos memorial service at his house. No way. Oh, yeah, that was the whole thing. That was where it was. And that's the place that Drake was living for two weeks. Okay. And so this is the place Drake. that Usher lived for, for, for six months. Six months. Yeah. Usher was your neighbor. Oh, yeah. And so was Drake. We only saw Drake when he would come up with the Escalades and the tinted windows, and sometimes the window would be down, and we'd say, oh, my God, is that that's a slur? It's like... And it was just hauling ass up and down the street. It was just like crazy. That's awesome. And then at two in the morning, the, their parties would start, and there were just cars driving up. Then there were people being shuttled up, and then there were girls walking up here, and they looked like knockoffs of Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> there were literally streams of, of Escalades coming up. With Drake in front of the house where the gate is, there were guys who were sitting there packing sidearms, and then when the gates open up, you see guys, two fucking guards like this with wow. rifles, and I'm like, wow. And then the, the guys, were so paranoid they'd have the Amazon king truck turn around, the delivery trucks turn around in my driveway. And I come running out, what the hell's going on here? And there's a guy packing a sidearm right here and he goes, I'm having the guy helping him turn around. I said, aren't you supposed to be 150 feet down the drive at that house? <laughs> that gate? And he goes, yeah, but we don't want them turning around in front of our in front of our gate. And I'm going, so you chose my driveway, <laughs> three houses the f away to make the, and he goes, yeah, and I'm looking at a sidearm going, if this is going to happen, I can just see a, a running gun battle coming from down the street, to, you know, coming this way, and bullets being fired and going through the, the house. I'm going, I don't know how long I can live under these kind of uh, roles. That above us, the guy bought three houses and has them all destroyed to build a mega mansion that literally goes from, I think you can see, if you come here, you can see where the, the wall starts here, goes all the way down and around the, oh. the hill. When did he start construction? Uh, three years ago now. Because <laughs> that height. And it's got a 30 foot wall going straight up. He's gonna have a five foot wide, eight, six foot deep swing pool that'll go around the entire perimeter, all the way around the property. Where's the one? The one's in Bel, Bel Air. Oh, okay. That's okay. in Bel Air, yeah. But this will definitely be a strong contender for the one because that's going to be... You think so? Dude, he's, the one is... What the hell is that, dude? He's got 30,000 square feet. He's got a tent what in the house. What is this right here? Oh, that's the... That's what I'm talking about. That's it. That's the house that's they're building? That they're building up there, yeah. The oh mega my gosh. With a 10,000 square that. foot subterranean garage. I mean, a subterranean um, discotheque and like a 50 car garage. Wow. Like I said, when you guys take a look up there and take your, your um, view, you know, your drone shots, you'll see the enormity. It's, it's, it's Dude, sick. It looks like a freaking airport they're it's building or something. Sick. So who lives there now? Jeff Franklin. He's the guy that produced Full House and Fuller House. He was in Whoa. the news a few years ago. He was banned from, what was it, from, Par from Paramount Studios and also from Netflix because of his, um, Dalliances. Dude, this is insane. Look at this house. Look at that pool. Oh my god. Oh, is that where the murders happened yeah. at the Tate house? And then again, like I said, you guys will come back tomorrow afternoon. We'll do the barbecue, get some people coming over. What the? Don't stand in the street because I don't want anybody to get Yeah, in probably over here. here. Drake's here. No, no, no. I <laughs> no, he hasn't been here in months. <laughs> like, who the f is this? Is this anybody you've invited here? No, I didn't invite anybody. Here. Then what the f is he oh, doing? Oh, wait a minute. Um, Elton. And I can't hear his motor running <laughs> it's giving me like the crease going i used to have a tesla and i miss it especially now as soon as i went over the tape property i lost signal how long was it automatically coming back or what it, it's coming back now yeah oh jesus christ that's crazy that's turned the home sign yeah and i hear that low battery beeping huh is that low battery or is that telling you it's fucking no it, it that's the automatic all right return return to home features yeah. yeah how sure. you doing bud yeah, hey, good to meet you man likewise Out here, comes like this, turns, stops, turns, and their eyes meet. She then walks, the girl walks down the stairs and, and out of frame. I said, what did she look like? She describes the woman as being about five foot five, long blondish brown hair coming down to the middle of her, like right about here, and then it's gathered at that point and it drops down. She's wearing a white summertime sundress, mid-thigh length, her legs are bare, there's no nylon. She has shapely legs, she described her as. She said she had this feeling about her as if she owned the place. She turned and looked at me, smiled, and then walked down the stairs as if she was just one of the one of the people here. And I said, look, my girlfriend is five foot 11, six foot tall. She has chestnut brown hair. It's long. She doesn't believe in ghosts. She's not here at all. She hates the idea that I'm doing this tonight. And we went through the entire house and there was nothing. 
nothing. No doors opened, not a gosh darn thing. And when we showed her a picture of uh, Sharon, she goes, oh, that's her. So I went on eBay. And I don't want to pay $300 for a rim pod. And some schmuck out there is taking gosh darn cold cream jars. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's what it is. It's a cold cream jar. It works like a charm, you know. Yeah. But I'll tell you this. You better turn your damn cell phones off because this son of a bitch oh, we'll go off, yeah. will go off when a cell phone gives us a, a signal. It has to do some... See, yeah. there it is. We've had it go off at three in the morning when I was here by myself. There was no cell phone and I'm sitting here like there and it's just going off randomly going, okay, you're here with me. Look good to know. I said, give me a sign that you're here and make it go off. And then it starts going off and going. And it's unnerving. When stuff starts happening and it's responding to your commands and your, your, your requests, you go, what now? Yeah, what <laughs> the hell do you do with it? It's like, it's happening. It's like, yeah, it is and it's, Responding to my questions. You worked on this place? Yeah. Right. Tell me about your movie, because you were telling me a little bit about it. Well, it's, first let me tell you the story of what happened after after we did the Ouija board session with the spirit board here. It's two in the morning. He goes to bed in the third level guest bedroom, and apparently six months after I found this story out, he told me, he says, it's 2.15, I'm putting my head in the on my pillow and I'm starting to fall asleep and all of a sudden I hear this man's voice say you're coming with us and he said all of a sudden I feel my body being lifted up and the guy is about six foot two he probably weighed about 260 270 and he says all of a sudden I feel my body being lifted up towards the the, the corner of the ceiling and he goes like literally like somebody's grabbing me from under the armpits and lifting me up and I'm being dragged up and I look down and he says oh my god he goes no put me down put me down oh my god put me down and he says all of a sudden he finds himself sitting on the opposite side of the bed bolt upright in the bed. Oh my God. It was with an 1880s spirit board that we had, somebody had brought over and I was like, let's see if this works. And I'm thinking, we just wrapped the production. He was leaving the next day and this happens. And six months later, he came to visit and he goes, I gotta tell you, I had the strangest experience in your house and it still scares the out of me. Holy sh why didn't you tell me? He goes, I, 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 he starts studying. He goes, I'm a skeptic. I goes, I don't believe in ghosts. So what happened to me, I can't explain, and I'm still unnerved by it. Do you feel like spirit's a little bit more active here for somebody who is skeptic? I used to think that they picked on skeptics, like saying, oh, we don't exist? Well, let me tell you what the f doesn't exist. It's like you're tweaking somebody in the nose and insulting them, saying, you don't, you're not, you don't exist. I don't believe you're here. It's another way of ignoring somebody. Yeah. You know, I used to think that, and then I started thinking, maybe it's not so much that. This guy is the biggest skeptic ever, right <laughs> there. Literally. Don't tell yeah. me. I mean, you don't have to say anything verbally to anybody, and that's what I've noticed. Things, the spirits can pick up on your energy the second you walk through the door. Right. Even before, some people have come in and said, I don't, I, I just walked through the door and I feel energy, I just feel different. There's something inside the house that's, you know. And I'm gonna ask you, are any of you guys feeling anything unique from the difference of that house Versus this house. I think, um... You don't have to talk about your hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. Pair of hemorrhoids, <laughs> what? <laughs> he, this guy gets a hold of my phone when I'm not looking sometimes <laughs> and goes on my Twitter and, and starts saying how I have hemorrhoids. And oh, I thought they, that was going to go a whole different direction. Oh I thought you were going to take your phone sometimes and start seeing yeah. pictures of your hemorrhoids. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. He's sponsored you know, by Fairbridge. I wouldn't put it by... <laughs> that is a good idea. Like I said, I'm looking forward, I'm telling you, you gotta come tomorrow night because I'm getting some celebrities to come over, some friends of mine that wanted to meet you. We got celebrities things. here now. <laughs> Not dead celebrities, Sonny. <laughs> Living ones you can talk to that'll talk back to you. You know what, I, I felt uh, for some reason, as, I know it sounds weird, but um, as I was hearing You're positive it, it sounds <laughs> weird? You're in my I don't think it sounds weird. So as I was in the bathroom, you have all, all those pictures of shit yeah. tape there. There's, yeah. a, there's an off feeling in there. I was but, just, yeah. thank you for saying it, because before you said it, I was going to say that we've had experiences in that bathroom that are. I'm like, this ghost is washing me. Go pee pee right now. These are some beautiful prints of Sharon. Oh, wow. She was beautiful. Oh, no, she was wow. striking. Look she had that. a real. You know, a real unique personality and look. I mean, even in her, really of her time, quality. of her era, there's lots of other actresses that were attractive. You know, not as attractive as Shan. What year? 1960. This is probably 67, 68. That's a really good picture. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. These are also, remember, these aren't digitals. These are all 35 millimeter prints. 
So the, the clarity is incredible. Film. Yeah, that, of course, is Raquel Welch. Picture. Are those girls that died here? Or, or? This is the woman that died at the end of the street. Yeah, oh. this is the one. She was also eight and a half months pregnant. So these are definitely early in her career. She was pregnant? I didn't know that. The end when she was yeah. called, like eight and a half months pregnant. The baby wow. was full, it was full, would have gone full term if they would have gotten her to a hospital in time. Oh my God. This device is a device that is used by telephone repairmen. You'll see what I'm talking about once I get this all out of here. This is the one side, which basically you attach to the wires that you want to find, to isolate. So say you've got a cluster of about a dozen telephone wires. You want to find the red and the yellow pair. So you clip these on to the the thing, you turn this on, it sends a signal down the line. So maybe a hundred feet down the other end, you're trying to find out which which lines, which telephone lines you're looking for. This can hear it. Here, I'll show you what happens. I'll turn this on. Hear that? Yeah. This is sending out that signal. So when this gets near it, it hears that. And that's how they isolate wires. When we were doing the installation, if you notice the camera, there's one, there's two there on the wall there, there's one over there, there's one on the ceiling, there's another one here. When we did the installation for the wires, my friend who's the telephone repairman who installed them by accident, he hits this. He goes, no. I said, what do you mean no? He goes, watch. He goes, this antenna has a small distance, a radius that it can pick up signals on. He goes, watch. Nothing, right? Hear that? That's about the length, the distance that this can measure energy. Or, or the signal from that. He says it should be damn well dead silent. It shouldn't be making a sound at all. I said, what do you mean? He goes, because look. And you see how it lights up red? It's picking up a signal. He goes, that makes sense, but in this in here? He goes, well, how far away from my from the wall? How far am I away from the ceiling? How far am I away from the floor? He goes, and listen to that. When you change the height, the acoustic signature diminishes, meaning the strength of the of the energy that it's picking up is slow is lower. He goes, and when you get to here, it's quiet. But as you go up, he goes, there's energy in this air that shouldn't be. I said, what do you mean? He goes, it should be quiet. It's picking up a signal that doesn't exist. And I said, so I went out and I bought the goddamn device. And I said, let's see what the hell's going on. So watch, same height. And sometimes it'll start chirping and making other sounds like that. Here it changes the tone. He goes, when it's changing the tone, it's reacting to the energy that this is picking up because all this is basically doing is amplifying what the energy is around the antenna. And he couldn't tell you what he thought He that. didn't understand. He goes, it's not possible. And then he went outside. Mm. Hear that? Same height. Yeah. And here it's silent. So when you're walking in the house and you start feeling energy, yeah, you do feel energy. Yeah. There's something strange going on. It's being picked up by this and validating the assumption or the presumption that there's something in this air, literally. And as you walk through, you can feel it. So when somebody says, I feel it right here, you can literally walk up to that energy and hear that thing and start to react. And you go on, what about here? It goes, nope. And you listen to it diminish. I thought that this was a joke. And I said, well, it's based on science. He says, I can't explain what it's picking up, but it's picking up something. And as you walked across the area, at the same height it's reacting to something and he was an electrician or he's the he's a telephone repairman and also a computer tech whiz and he installed the cctv cameras in this house have they ever caught anything quite compelling yeah he oh god yes i was like because i'm thinking you see my videos on my on my youtube channel yeah he does have a youtube channel these things have been recording here now for eight years and the figurines on top of the aquarium as well we should take note of because those are the famous figurines that get knocked over by themselves these three this one so those and get knocked over knocked over and we have tons of video footage of it video footage of this puka shell thing being drawn out on its own and as you as you try to move it towards where it, where it landed it's almost impossible to not have it roll over the edge and I'll show you that on the big screen you know you know what I, I like you so much more now seeing your Beetlejuice figures well wait a okay. second this is my latest of, like, of obsession speaking of Beetlejuice I freaking Funkos. love Beetlejuice oh I love like, Beetlejuice that's, 
But this is these Funkos. I went on a binge. These That's were the, awful. This, these three were given to me, and then I ended up buying these, this, this, and that one over there. Oh, look, he's even have, has the handbook back there. Yes. Handbook for the recently deceased. Yep. Absolutely, I got that on eBay. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I, I can't really say what's my favorite Tim Burton movie, but that Beetlejuice. That's, that that's one in Edward Scissorhands is like. That's too much of an acid trip for me to watch. Edward huh? Scissorhands. I love Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, so we were hands. we were just in the house last week. The house that they shot Edward Scissorhands. Yes. Oh wow. So that's a, trip. a buddy of mine got the house, remodeled it, and I mean it's it's beautiful. He got the wallpaper made from London. That's exactly. I mean everything in there. It's like a movie set. It's so cool. If you're ever in Florida. I'll Take you there. Right. It's so if I'll, I'll hit you up, believe you me. Why do people think that a spirit needs an intermediary device to communicate with other people? Yeah, humans? they really don't need it. They don't. But sometimes they like to. Also, no, they that's human ego yeah. speak or sales pitch speak. That because think about it. I've got voices of, from my friend John Doherty who was standing, sitting over there getting his packs unpacked at about six in the evening last couple of summers ago. And I go downstairs and he hears this woman's voice saying, hi John. Five minutes before I had said and said, John, I just got a feeling that the spirits are telling me they're going to miss you. I keep hearing, we're going to miss him. We're going to miss him. And I said, John, I said, I don't know. And then I go downstairs and within five minutes of me going downstairs, you hear the voice saying, hi John. A woman's voice, clear as a bell, on that camera, that camera, and that camera. And you have that? You have footage of that? I got footage of the knock knock from last November when I was going, coming up the stairs for the quarter to two, doing my laundry, and you, that's the funniest video because to me I'm like, you can see it in my eyes going, <laughs> and I'm totally freaking out in my head and I'm thinking, all right, a burglar wouldn't be doing that because why the f would the burglar want to say knock knock? It's yeah, like, yeah. I'm here. It's like, you don't want to give it away. And I'm thinking, and I said, right before I heard the knock, knock, I was thinking to myself, I threw my hands up and saying, spirits, I got you covered. And then it's like, and I'm like, like, and then I thought to myself, I thought something. I didn't speak out loud. And if their knock, knock is, is how should we say, it, it corroborating or kind of, validating my statement and my thoughts. I then said, I said, oh, I said, you guys can read my freaking mind. I was like, no, I said, now nah, you really got me pissed. The True North sits like at 11 o'clock. If this is 12 o'clock, it's already up. <laughs> you see that? Mm -hmm. That's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be like there and it's already up. It's getting closer, but here, watch what happens when I go here. This gives you an idea. see right here what the f no no on my right not my left you you're supposed to go this side and when you get over here it totally deflects and again it's deflecting right now so over this side it's supposed to be exactly west is supposed to be true north where this arrow is this way that's where true north is it's cockeyed right. and this is just a goddamn field oh. compass just a big little Boy Scout compass. I'll even put it on the ground. And now it's sitting straight ahead. Where it should not be, it should be over to this side. It's totally cockeyed. And this one, this dog refuses to go down to the third level. Even on the outside on the stairs going down, she'll go down the, the, all the way to the bottom. He will not go down. You can't drag him. And watch what happens when we go from the second floor to the third floor. He'll go up the stairs as we go You think you've seen it. something? He's the most sensitive dog. I've had four dogs in my life and both of my mutts have reacted to the energies in the house. After three weeks in this house, he came running outside. We were walking down the street. He stopped. He looked down the driveway. His ears got big and he started to like whimper and get and then we ran. He like started running back in the house. So I got him in the house. He ran right into the middle of this area right here in the living room. Started looking, sits, sits staring at the goddamn front door. And then from the front door, he looks to the window, the window, the front door, back and forth. And then he starts barking like I've never heard him ever bark since, like oh. that. And reacting like whimpering and scared. It's like a mixed bag of emotions. And I'm like, what the f <laughs> And she, she's totally oblivious. She's a purebred rich back. She couldn't care less. Him, he's super sensitive, aren't you, Reggie? See, and the cats, <laughs> the cats are notorious for chasing things that aren't there. It's like, uh, and then they'll be sitting there and they'll be like this, the two cats will be like doing this in the same exact area. And I'm looking, all right, there's a bug. And it's like, there's no bug. There's no bug at all. What are they doing? Then they, then they get up and start chasing something. 
that's not there. And it's like, okay, the cats are playing with the ghosts. Original Doris stuff in like 1968. She would put a poster on every door. <laughs> <laughs> a Doris poster on every door? I like that. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Look at this. This is cool, man. Oh, wow. Come on, take a step up onto the uh, the runway and see if you feel anything on that. Whoa. Definitely. Do you notice that? That one step up? And things just got strange on that one step. I feel like, Actually, I have like, a, like an ear pain. I feel like my eyes are cross-eyed. I don't know. And I want to make sure that everybody that's watching this understands that I have not said one word to you about specific anything or tipping my hand or making you guys feel awkward. All I did was ask you guys, do you feel any different? That's it. So you're feeling ear pain, pressure-like almost? Yeah, like almost like a, like a stinging feeling, like a, yeah, like pressure. Take a walk ear. down to that end of the hall and see if it changes. And I've never felt that anywhere. Right. It's a hot night. Because when I walked in the doorway right there through this threshold, all of a sudden I started feeling like funny. I feel dizzy. Like a dizzy feeling. How are you guys feeling on that? Where are you guys are standing? You guys feeling anything? All right, here. Right there? Hey, yeah. Come on, that's boida. Oh, it's, the, a, it's a daddy long legs. He needs a tickle tickle. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't know he was alive. Let's go. Let's go. That was the f***ing, that was the bomb. Yo, he's mad at you. That was the f***ing, that was the I didn't know he was alive. I thought you, what do you think, he's dead? I thought he was dead. I said you think he's dead. I really did. I was going to eat it. Fall the cotton. He didn't, she didn't eat it, did she? No. Thank no, God. No. Sorry for picking on you, buddy. It's okay, Daddy Long Legs. Can I get a little kiss? A little, I'm, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt it's you. It's gonna run up your arm and bite oh. you. Do they bite? Uh, I'm sure they, uh, all spiders bite from what I understand. Oh. See what happens when you walk down to that end of this hallway. Something right here yeah. is messing with my ear. It's like right there. Just right there. So you don't yeah. feel it at the end and try down no. that end of the uh, hallway. Maybe to like a sensory thing. Cause I feel it in my, my face like. Everybody's different. Remember that. So some certain person might feel it in their ears or somebody else will feel it in their chest or in their heart or wherever on their body. Yeah. What's the worst thing somebody felt like in this area right here? Well, right where you're standing right now, after two days, the day after Quentin wrapped Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I have a video of it. This, let me see, this piece, this one, came peeling off the wall and fell to the ground on its own. Okay. And what was strange was is both nails were still in the wall and the hooks on the back of the frame were there. The frame was literally split down the middle. And this is plexiglass. So unlike the pieces, if you had a big chunk of glass this size, it would have a lot of weight. These are pretty light weight. These are like 10% of the weight of, of glass. So there's no weight there. And it literally peeled off the wall. It's like somebody peeled it off or something. And ripped it. I mean, literally the, this right down the center here oh. was cracked and ripped apart. And I'm like, what the f so, yeah, that's the strangest thing. And also, we've had people, the girls, the ghosty girls were here in November and we recorded, I think there's six videos that we recorded out of their visit here of voices recorded here talking. Whispery voices going, help me. And I'm like, who the f was that? Has your camera ever caught anything right here? Yeah. What did yeah, it so catch? These are the cameras, these are the two cameras we captured the vocalizations in this room. Okay. But on my YouTube channel. Oh, uh, now my ears, I'm feeling like... You're feeling something too? Right in my right ear, it's just like, all of a sudden it's just giving me like a, like a ringing pressure it type of thing, just standing here all of a sudden. How do you feel? Right here, nothing? Well, let's see what happens when you walk to that end of the hallway to see if you feel it there, because not everybody's going to feel it. You said that Ghost Adventures was here once. <laughs> yeah, once, and, exactly. And, and they only lasted, what? Three hours. Three hours? They what? were going to go shoot six hours from nine in the evening to three in the morning. And at nine in the evening, they went to turn on and power on all of their cameras. And they said, our cameras are dead. They went into the van and got the backup batteries and they were all dead. They said, we have to postpone start time for an hour to recharge all of our batteries. At 10 o'clock, they started the show. And I said, guys, I got a feeling this is, I got to do something. So I walked to the top of the staircase and I looked down the staircase in the stairwell and I said, spirits, I know you want to kill these people. I'm asking and pleading and begging with you. Do not 
hurt anyone. I don't want anyone injured while they're here doing the show. And the producer runs up to me and says, David, what the hell was that? And I'm like, you mean that, what I just did? I said, I basically was pleading with the spirits here at the house not to mess your team up, because they were pissing on you. What? As you were talking about spirits, this little thing is like floating in the I air. I saw that for a quick second. I saw something there, and then it's... Yeah. So, the story... Did you see it? Kind of. That's right here. He says, would you do that again, but a PG-rated version of that? And I go, you think that was an act? I said, I did that because I sincerely feel like you guys are going to be f***ed with really what? bad tonight. And I felt it because, you gotta remember, they're here for four days at the location. Zach, Nick, and Aaron don't show up until the fourth day to do the lockdown. So the first day they do interviews, they did the interview with me. The second day they did interviews with other people. The third day was the B-roll and included the footage of Sharon Tate, the girl dressed up as Sharon Tate, walking up the driveway, clutching her, her pregnancy. And she was in a white nightgown and she was covered from head to toe in blood. Did you see the episode? No, I didn't see the episode. We'll have to watch the episode later. On. But as they're doing this, I said to them, I said, this is really disrespectful to the memory of Sharon Tate. And the producer said, well, it's some story, this and this, that this girl told us, Dre Fordham. And I'm like, I'm telling you, that story is bullshit and it didn't happen. I don't buy that. I said, I don't see Sharon Tate ma manifesting as a blood-soaked apparition of herself clutching her pregnancy. I said, that's just horrendous bullshit. I said, well, we're doing it. And I said, well, at your own peril. So when they did the lockdown and I went to the top of the stairs, the house is just like charged. You can't imagine what it's like. That pain you had in your ear just now, mm -hmm. multiply that times about a hundred was how thick the energy in the house was that night when they were here shooting. And you could feel it. And you could feel it. It was like, yeah. when, ooh, it's like, I go to the top of the stairs and what you see in the show is me <laughs> doing a nice version of that. And I leave the house. An hour and a half later at about 11.30, Zach comes walking out of the house and falls down on the concrete pavement at the front next to the, the steps going up and he's like oh man he goes I'm like I don't know where I am it hurts my head hurts my stomach hurts and his eyes are like doing like this and there's no cameras out there and I run up to him saying hey are you okay the producer comes over and runs like Zach Zach are you okay and he's like I, I need some water I, I need to sit down my head's just oh it's just I just feel so oh my god I'm just oh my god then they send Nick under the third level to go into what we will call the guest bedroom and Nick's having a meltdown of epic proportions he's sitting there looking into the theater room going guys I see something, there's this ball of light, there's this energy in this in the other room, it's just hovering, it feels like it's staring at me, and I'm like freaking out, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this, and he's having a meltdown. And this episode is going on for about five solid minutes. I'm watching Zach and Aaron and, and Jay Wosley in the back of the van, looking at this 20 inch monitor, and there's Nick going, guys, get me the f Get out of here, get the hell down here, get me out. And I'm looking at the three of them, and Zach's in the middle, and Zach is just cracking the f I said, I don't care if it's practical and it's happening and he can't record it on the camera or it's in his mind. It doesn't matter. For him, for all intent and purposes, it's real. And I said, I'm going to tear up the goddamn contract, screw your gosh darn show to hell. I said, I'm going down there. If you don't get down there in the next 10 seconds, you know, you got your chance, go. And, it's in, and then, of course, Aaron says, you know, Zach, you know, we should go down there and get him. And, and Zach says, all right, let's go. Come on. And they go down there. And Nick is like just shell-shocked. And he comes upstairs. And I'm, I'm in, out in the garage. And they got the setup with the cameras and the monitors there. And Nick goes, goes look at what I got. Something scratched me. And he's like, this on his stomach is this red... Like, like somebody's basically scraped his stomach right here, like a two-inch scrape, and it's red. It's like, Jesus Christ, I hope that's the least of our problems. And he's like, it hurts. It feels like it's burning. And he's like, oh, no. And at one in the morning, you hear this walking towards the front door. And I'm like, what the? It's one o'clock and out marches Zach, Nick, and Aaron. He goes, we're done. I go, you've been here for three hours. They said, you got till four in the morning. Well, goes, nope, we're done. We have enough evidence. We have enough. We got enough. Right. We're out of here. Boom. And I'm going, damn, that was crazy. Like I said, it was just like that. And then I started doing events here and I said, come to the place where Zach Baggins couldn't last for three hours. He got wind of that stuff and he went on a social media tirade against <laughs> me saying in his book, he went so far as to write three and a half pages in his book, I Am Haunted, 
that sometimes the house isn't haunted, people that are haunted. And sometimes the people that are haunted are actually the vessel in which the spirits are occupied. Yeah, these people are possessed. Are you, are you talking about me, Zach? <laughs> I'm possessed? Ever since then, he called me the poltergeist agent. And I said, well, I live in Los Angeles. You know what an agent is? He represents people. So I went and I had business cards put up. Poltergeist agent. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Look at that. An after lifestyle company. That's amazing. Representing the finest bad boys in the afterlife. We put the quote unquote after party in the afterlife. <laughs> Dude, that, that's that's you great. You say you're the afterlife of the party? <laughs> yes, I'm the after, the after birth of the party. So where is the room that your dog refuses to go into? The floor, he won't, you'll see. First, let's go through the top of the office as well so you can see that. Okay. All right. I just got right here, and I felt like a whammy right here, just like like just like all of a sudden, like my head just went. There's like a whammy. mist in this hallway right here. I don't know what the hell that is. If there's a See mist, that? it's a spirit. That's a spirit you're seeing. Yeah. Because there's no other explanation for it. There's no humidity. Look, there's a freaking mist in this hallway right here. Oh my God! I you see, see it? it. Yes, I do. And it's moving. <laughs> oh my God! It just moved. It's Dude. not stationary. Oh my freaking God. I've never seen that. I know we've had some people that shot pictures of that mist in the hallway. There was a picture of this mist. It's there and then the second later it's gone. And it's just... It's, it is gone now. It's gone. Hmm. Your camera might have caught that too. You got a camera over there. Got a camera on the top, the top of the stairwell looking straight down. But there's something right there. I just walked through it. When you were talking about that energy right there, I just walked through it. Oh, you gotta walk down to the end of the hall. You gotta see if it if it's there, cause it's right. I can feel it. God Almighty, it's like pounding in my gosh darn head right at that spot. See, I don't I don't feel that feeling in my ear anymore. It's like I right, feel it in my head. It was like right over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you feel anything on that side? No. Not I. Not I. Not I, Captain. Not I. I do feel better actually for stepping out of there. Isn't that amazing? No, when you I take do, the step I do right feel... to here, it's like it just it, it comes right off you. <laughs> just be careful not to shoot the desk. It's shoot like my messenger, I don't want it shot either. Shoot the desk? No, yeah. don't shoot the desk. You really like Jack Johnson, huh? I told you, I'm, I'm obsessed with the son of a and this is nothing. It also goes into the bathroom as well. Got photographs and autographs and stuff of his for sale. It's got like graded cards in here. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's a in there. Did James leave a floater? James is not in there. Oh, God. Modern plumbing. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, let's uh, take a look in the bathroom here. So, David Omen. If you haven't noticed, is a huge Jack Johnson fan. I mean, he's got so. I mean, oh my God! Just everywhere you look here. What are you doing, bro? Stuff behind the door to look at. Okay. Thought he was trying to lock me in here. I mean, he even has a glove on the other side here of Jack Johnson. Signed glove. Yeah, look at that. Look at the crack in the door. Oh, it's actually signed. Yes, they're all signed. Three gloves. Oh, all of them are signed? Oh. No, no, the, the glove, wow. the, the business card, the card, the uh... Really cool. Oh, oh really wants nothing to do with that you lower. You not at come on. all. Come on. Come on, Ray. Ray. Dude. Benji, come on. Did you see that? Yeah. Like, he knew that we were going down there. Yeah. He hates it. He knows. Try and get her just to see her him. Come, on, yeah. see. come here. Come on, Ray. Reggie. Come on, Reg. Come on. That's like the mo Dude, Ooh. he peed. No. I le he legit peed. Just now. Yeah, he's he's so scared. Oh, Look at he That's why we took him out early so he would not pee in the house. Crap. Bro, I've never seen a dog be that scared. Yeah, oh, wow. Literally oh, peed wow. himself. What is it? What's down there that he's scared of? That's what I'd like to know, but he's never ever gone down there and never will. Come on. Come on. Even if he tried, he wouldn't go. He Come would. on. Let's see. You want to go downstairs? Come here. Come on, guys. Dude, no, he, he's not having it. Go ahead. Okay, hey, Rich. No, oh. Yeah, he's real scared. Dude, that's such a. Oh, oh my okay. God. It breaks so, my heart. What happened okay. down there with him? He's like traumatized. Something happened so, to him. He does. He won't ever go down there. 
How do you, how he do, once, how do you we were going it? down there once, and my producer friend was going down there, and he went up, he took a leak through the gosh darn bells and tinkled on my head. He goes, David, it's raining in the house. And I looked up, and Reggie's like this one, shaking, and he's peeing through the gosh darn stairs. <laughs> Hooked him up with a golden shower. Now, by the way, feel the temperature right now. <laughs> Because when I went down there two seconds ago, it's ice cold all of a sudden. It gets freezing. Like, like you're going to a refrigerator or a freezer right here. Ooh. Yeah, I already feel it. It's oh, cold. God. Uh, I have to say, this is like the most off I've felt in your whole house down here. You feel it, huh? Yeah. Here, shut the door behind you so we don't let the cats in here. We want to make sure we don't have any funny sounds from anything but what we're hearing. Uh, excuse me. Getting that pain in my ear again. I feel oh, well. really bad for your dog. I'm sorry. That's, no, that's that was... okay. He wouldn't... How often does that happen? I don't usually come down here that often, so it doesn't happen that often. But when I come down here, sometimes that happens because he gets all nerved out and freaked. And he follows you everywhere. I mean, that's what dogs do. They follow us. He will us. not come down here. I have tried many a time. It's like do dogs can sense things. I mean, I, I have a, my dog does that too. Like you were describing like the growling and stuff. My dog's done oh, that Oh yeah, he, he acted totally cracked that in the day that we had that incident take place. So this is the two, the Ooh. beer bar kegerator. The two kegerator beer bar. I'm gonna put this somewhere. I want a beer. Uh, what do you want? Wait, you got, these are actually... No, no, not... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is for display purposes only. Do I have to say that? I was like, uh, dang. No, if you want a beer, I happen to have my beer refrigerator down here. Yeah, I said a beer refrigerator. Yeah. Well, look at that. It's got like a hole. They're all signed. signed. Every single one signed. Please. Wow. There's a two oh, oh, I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah, those are all signed. There's like 290 football mini helmets, 80 footballs, 30 or 25 uh, full-size helmets, some 30 basketballs, seven of the 11 UCLA national basketball titles oh. teams are signed there. He's got an autograph from Logan Paul. Oh, Logan, yeah, I remember him. I got him signed. Logan I Paul. Him signed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that Logan Paul. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Logan Paul. Sorry. Very funny. <laughs> Very funny. I think the 72 is probably a good one, or the 75. This is basketball. Yeah, there's the 72, there's the 75, there's the 70, and the 69 with Jabbar's signature on it as, as Luel Sender, because that's before he changed his name to Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And then the, the wooden pieces, the uh, two uh, programs from the uh, basketball games at Poly, and then the jersey. What's in there? That's the outside. That's the staircase on the side of the house that you guys saw. Oh, okay. So that's the outside of the house too. Leads to. I had a friend of mine and his and his and her boyfriend live here for a year, but that's <laughs> never happening again. Did they experience yeah. anything like? Yeah, they experienced stuff, but I wish the spirits would have got them out of here a lot sooner than than the year. You're you're the original owner I'm here. I'm the only owner. My father and I built this house. There was nothing here before that. Was but when this place. house was actually being built. They were demolishing the house where they were, we, we, we were. They were actually building and working on that property. Oh, okay. And the, like I said, they excavated out the entire front area to build the 25 car subterranean garage. So there were truckloads of earth being hauled out of there. Yeah, I wonder who got all that wonderful, <laughs> lovely soil. I call it cursed, but you know, who knows? Wow. Are these mouth guards right here? What is that sound? Do you guys hear that? Yeah, here. There's nothing on. And it just started it's out like of the a, blue. It's like a... Not that. Oh, that. That funny rumbling sound you hear. I don't have any air conditioning on. There's nothing on. Not the, not not, not the dishwasher, not the... I thought it was an air washer, washing machine, not the dryer, nothing. Now it stopped. Pitch quiet. It's craziness. I thought you were talking about the sound, no, but I think that's, that's a motion that's sensor. That's the motion sensor. But I was hearing there was like a, like a low rumbling yeah, sound. Yeah, no, I heard that too. Had it just started out of nowhere. Do you think whatever's down here hurt your dog? Or maybe just scared your dog? Like I don't know. I can't. I don't know what it is, but... I've never seen a dog. I've never, I've never, no, my other dogs used to come down here, but he won't. He refuses to come down I've here. never seen any. I've never seen that ever. 
My like cats I, come down here all the time, and they, you know, yeah. run around in here. I feel like he was traumatized. Oh, yeah, he's scared to death. Of this like something cold. happened when you weren't around down here. I don't know, he, but he never comes down here. Period. He has never since the day I brought him in here nine years ago. This math, past March, when he brought came in the house, he would never come near here. He would never. Here, let's let's come into the earthen wall room where I can get you a beer since I know you want one as well. Um, what kind of beer would you like? We have Corona. We have uh, Laguitas, Laguintas, IPA, Indian Pale Ale. We have Modelo Negron, a Negra. I have Heineken. I have Dos Equis Especial Verde. Oh, look at that. Harp Lager. I got, that's the right PA. This should not be in the right. Yeah, Harp Lager as well. So it's your choice. Okay, so I'm, I'm not a huge drinker. Uh, Corona, then. <laughs> I, like, I hate Heineken. All I'll right. tell you that. Right, right. So Heineken's um, out. The Medello, you don't want the Medello dark. That's definitely thicker and heavier type of an alcohol, almost an ale. Yeah. That's you have any, like, a, like any kind of sweet beer? I don't know what Harp Lager's like. Does anybody know what Harp Lager's like? I don't, I mean, I'll I don't give it a shot. How about that? Do you want I'll, the Harp Lager? I'll take the Harp Lager. This is imported from Ireland. Oh. oh. Don't do that. <laughs> that scared me. Oh. <laughs> left that as a prop and I said leave it because because during the event that they had here people were coming up to me and saying that that that, that keyboard I said it played a single note and I'm going on its own and they go yeah and I said it's not my keyboard and I said leave it here when you guys were tearing they were tearing down the guest bedroom as it was Carol Ann's room from the movie they dressed up the whole room up and made it like a little kids room and they brought that in and had it on a little table that was a little kids table a tea set was on and that thing was going nuts the whole night during their uh, event and I said keep it here and it's it plays on its own you know when nobody's touching it and no one has touched it I do like that you leave it on though, so it can be. I leave it be, on all yeah. the time. So if it's if it's playing by itself down here, and I hear it, I'm going. How often uh, have you heard it playing by itself? Oh, at least two dozen times. Get out. Oh yeah. Have you maybe caught that on some of your cameras? Like yeah. I have a better one. We had four people: my friend Tim Rose, his wife, and my friend and her husband were in that room <laughs> during my birthday party i had here several years ago and they said we want to go ghost hunting i said in the middle of a party and they said yeah we're going to go to the third floor nobody's down there so we're going to go play ghost hunting and i'm like fine go right ahead so they come down here and i have this all in video she puts her digital recorder on the bed the four of them are sitting on the bed talking and tim says i ain't afraid of no ghosts and he's being really cocky all of a sudden on their digital recorder, they recorded, and on the camera, on the wall, they record this man's voice saying, Hello, what are you doing in my bedroom? And then they didn't hear it. Ten seconds later, the keyboard starts playing on its own. She screamed. She jumped up out of her skin on the bed and goes, ah! Ah! <laughs> Okay, so when you said that, and, you know, he gave me an Irish beer... I couldn't help but think of, you know, the Leprechaun. And actually, oh, yeah. God. The one from the, the horror movie Leprechaun? I hate that, that, that creature. That accent, I was terrified when I was a kid and I saw that. Daddy, what are you going to do about it? Eat my dung, <laughs> won't you? Have a good one. Stick, stick. <laughs> Stick was it an there. Irish accent, though? No, that's, it was an old man. It was like an old man saying, Hello, what are you doing in my bedroom? And when you hear it, you'll go, That sounds almost identical to what I did. And they have it on their digital recorder as well, oh. recording the man's voice. We should do a voice recorder. Like, have you ever done that? Where you ask a question and then you play it back on your recorder? Yes, we've had that done here. And we've yeah. recorded voices that are like... You know what would be even crazier? What? That is always... It freaks me out. Yeah, we did that a couple of weeks ago. Some people came here. Before. before? And we did it here. It was crazy. I partook in it. And when I watched the footage, I'm going, holy crap. Because they put you in the headphones with the ITC. Okay. What I'm going in Why don't we all go into the earthen wall room and take a look at the earth and earth? Come on, let's go look at the earth, boys. Come on, focus. It's a good thing you just Snapchat, keep recording, focus. huh? Shit, I need something to clap Did you catch that? Yeah. I'm going to have to sit down for a second. No, no, we're going into the wall room. You can go hang in the hammock. Come on. Bro, that was insane. Oh, wow. This is the earth and wall room. Wait, so what's the purpose of this room? Well... Can I stand on here? Yeah, you can stand there. You're not going to fall through, I promise. 
my father and I, when we built the house, he wanted to turn this third level into an apartment. And he's trying to make me this is really cool. to him to make this turn into a room that's supposed to be finished. And I said, nope, I'll leave it alone. So I left it alone until about eight years ago when I developed the kitchenette <coughs> and put it in. Yes, you can sit in there. Go it's really it. comfy. Go ahead. But just or don't do it with TV. the beer. Man, I might you. break it. No, you won't. Relax in the hammock, brother. It's Dirt complete. Pile you want me to show you? Do you want me to show you? What, you want me to show you, Omar, how it works? It's very simple. Just make sure you steady yourself and don't flip yourself over and break your freaking neck. Because you could very easily. Oh. Don't worry, that thing will hold 500 pounds. Oh, okay. Don't push me on it, but there you go. Oh, That's great. the ticket. That oh. came about about 15 years ago. We had College Humor came out here. Really? And they were going to do, they were interested in the house and stuff. And they said, hey, they said, this would make a great man cave. And I said, man cave? You serious? And he goes, yeah, it'd be really cool. We could do something. So I said, look, give me a few days. So I got the the um, well, the anchors and the hooks. And I set this whole thing up. I got the television set. I had the whole thing set up. And they, they said, this is really trippy. This is really trippy. He goes, yeah, we, we decided to scratch the skits. We're not going to do it. I said, you're not going to do the bit? I said, I've got it looking like the goddamn you know, a man cave. Oh, that's good right? for you. Oh, is that you yeah, that was me. No, that's me, this. Me, it's, there's a oh, light okay. switch behind this oh, like, that shouldn't even be here, this piece of wood. So this is the man cave. You know, hammocks are kind of trippy. Like, sometimes when you lay on them, you're, I don't know, you just feel like... In this room, you're going to feel stranger than... Oh, yeah. But we've had a bottle of wine come out on its own. And then that piece of wood that's right there near you guys over there, that 10-pound piece of wood I'll show you the video of that spinning off of a television set on its own. This, is, this awesome. is the guest bedroom. Nice. This is the room we're talking about for you guys to hang out in. And, 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 and How come this is in your room? Because I live on the second floor. You take one trip from the bottom floor to the top and you'll go, now I understand what David doesn't live you on the floor. You know what's funny floor. about some of these cliff houses? So the second floor is actually the floor below. The third floor is the all the way, you know. The bottom, right. So I mean, these houses go like this way. So this is the third floor, which is actually Technically the first floor, right? Well, it was like a basement. You could, it would be your basement, but your top floor is your floor number one. Floor number right. two is going down because it's a downslip. It's not going up. So it'd be L1, L2, and L3. Lower two, lower three. So the top floor would be that's one. Cool. You look really wicked, by the way. I do? Yeah, like your eyes. Well, that's because, well. Bro, this is shaking. <laughs> huh? No, I felt the ground shaking. Bro, I swear I was standing over there before, I felt the same thing, I felt like... No way, not yeah. this house, no, this... That's weird. You're, take a look in the bathroom, that bathroom is wicked as well, people have gotten locked in there, as well as we have a bathtub... Locked in there? Is, yeah, locked in from the inside. Yeah, I'll give you some, some light, proper lights, you can see what the... This is your bathroom, boys. Okay. Look at that jacuzzi tub. And a freaking television what set. That? That's cool, man. You know, you can watch television in your shower, you can watch television when you... You can watch television while you're jacuzzi. You have your, you have your, this is your gymnasium here. You have your workout station and your treadmill. I mean, come on, how can you go along with this? Uh, Another balcony, that's so cool. And there's your city view of the city of LA, and oh there's your God. hillside below you. I mean, what? Come on, you wake up in the morning, you come out in the balcony, you go, this is crazy, man. There's deer on the hillside. This is so cool. Right up there is Dr. Phil's house. Yeah, that's Doc Phil's. I almost want to fly my drone over his house. You could. It's a huge Watch property. Watch that thing get EMP'd. Right? Oh, God. Right. Oh, God. Oh, God. By the way, that light that you see, that, that blue pur pur purple light there, uh -huh. that's a $25,000, six-foot-tall, no. automated security Wait. robot. I yeah. kid you not. Oh, yeah. What does it do? It motors around the property and it turns on lights and stuff and it, it looks for assailants. Half a dozen times they've had the cops and helicopters flying over that house trying to find somebody that's there. They've never found anybody that I know. I think it's connected to... Could be. No, not to that, but it could be spirit energy that it's that they're hearing and stuff is happening. This, like I said, the 220 inch screen got right there. It's full surround. And uh, this is in the same place where another cell phone got knocked off. So I'm going to just... Leave that recording. Hopefully we could catch this plane on its own. That'd be cool. Did you hear that? No, what did you hear? Did you guys hear anything? That was like a like rumble. Somebody, like, a, like something like knocking Yeah, something. I heard that. I think I caught it. You did? Yeah. I have no idea what the hell that was. I think it was my stomach. No, 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 that came from over here. I can tell it was coming from there. But I heard it was right, right. 
like in this area, like something getting knocked over something. And it wasn't like a thud. It was like a thump. I know it's not my stomach, but it certainly feels like it could have been. A light straight up like just turned on. That was that what happened? An extra light turned on? I think it just flickered. No, no, for sure. Like a whole, a whole new light that's turned oh, on. This is this is this is honestly this is relatively calm. Usually that one will start spasming out when the spirits are acting. We have a video when my friends and I were here, we were talking, and it was fine. Everything's great and dandy. All of a sudden, this woman starts talking about Egyptian um, mummification rituals and stuff, and I was talking about canopic jars and how they mummified this, that, and you know, different animals and stuff. All of a sudden, the lights start going crazy, like somebody was doing this up and down with the switch. Yeah. And that it was just a whole place, and I was saying, right as we were talking about getting into detail about the the funerary rites of the ancient Egyptians. And it was just like, bam, you said it? Well, now we're gonna react accordingly. Spirits, anybody here with us? Would you like to let us know that you're here with us? You'd like to give us a sign that you're here? I heard something. What was that? It was like a. It was like whoa. Yeah. It was a voice. You heard it. Yeah, it was a voice. All right. Again, what time was that at? We'll check the cameras. Yeah. So it's, nine it's, nine fifty. Nine fifty. So it's a minute after we've had the first incident. Suddenly, it could have been a wolf or a woman. Wolf? No wolves up here. And the coyotes are pretty much. It was like whoa, something like that. If you're here with us, could you give us a sign? Something behind, like like a tap. tap. Yeah, it's like a knock or a tap. Just just Very light. light, but enough that you re you could hear it. Go back in the other model and I'll point it out to you because it's clear to see what you're standing on right there. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> I mean, you can't even move my phone. Totally a skeptic. Well, I'm not as skeptical as this guy right here. He's a, you can come and touch him and, yeah, you can grab his ass. Uh, oh, oh, wow. You know, you know that they actually, kind of cool, though. no, there's a demon. In there. By a ghost? Yeah. It's called, oh, that'd be so cool. It's called yeah. Incubus. That would be cool. Incubus and Succubus. And Succubus, yeah. <laughs> Once for the, like, for... Females. Yeah. yeah. Yin and yang. Oh, Imagine like, yeah, but you can't tell anybody. So it's like, damn, so is everyone going through this? And they're just not telling anyone? I have talked to... Oh. Life just got a whole lot brighter. A light straight up, like, just turned on. That was is that what happened? An extra light turned on? I think it just flickered. No, no, for sure. Like, a whole a whole new light that's turned oh. on. It was flickering. There you go. Yeah. And it's not that goddamn, the, you know what we need to do is cover that so we don't hear the click, click, motion clicking sensor. out of the motion sensor, right? right? There is a click noise that we're hearing, but that's a motion sensor right yeah, now. Yeah, that's that. That's not the spirit. No, I'll well, be the first to tell you, that ain't no ghost. Uh -huh. Why does she start talking about it? Oh, sh What the heck? Yeah. How long did it do that for? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yes, solid. And that was because you were talking about the way. something she said. It pissed him off. Well, I'm not going to mummify. You got it for that. No, no, no. You got a YouTube moment. I'm going to throw that up on YouTube. I'm not going to say that. I don't want to The whole thing is they don't want to be without I don't want ease. To be sad without Don't fucking start doing it again. Keep it pristine and make it look good. If you're gonna do this right, spirit, you can't do any more fucking right, yeah, the Egyptians, they mummified a lot of animals. That's not yeah. animal, but cow. Can you imagine a freaking cow? Company, how, what does mummifying mean? You basically put it into a gas and salt. 
So we you take the animal, disembowel it, they go to the gym somewhere, and put it in the Have Dad ever done that before? No, but I'm no. Like, once or twice, but not like when, like, not like this. This is just, it stops, and then it picks up again, right? When she starts talking, and it's almost like she's pissing him off. So this is the only floor Reggie will go on, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm the one that probably One night. Come on, come on, go downstairs. Oh, he, he's just, yeah, go, he does not on. want anything to do with it. Oh. And he doesn't even look at us. He looks straight up the stairs and goes, top, 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 yeah, top. That, that's not a coincidence. Yeah. So David was telling us that somebody got a, a golden shower standing here after uh so I, it was like, Reggie why am I getting all wet? Reggie took a leak through the things. <laughs> so I was thinking about that right now. I'm like, <laughs> earlier my phone was down here. And I left it. I came to get it. I, I I will never rain so quick in the dark. I need to see what you guys pick up as far as feeling in this room is concerned. Wow. It definitely doesn't feel you like know, it did I earlier. Feel. It has a different vibe than earlier. Like, what are you feeling? Right here, I just heard, like, heart, like heartburn, but no oh. reflux, just pain. What was that? That was the lights. You blinked when it, like, like you, the, you didn't see the that? The light was flashing right now. No, I was so doubled over in a little bit sharp light, pain in my, in my, in my, you missed it, yeah. wow. Did you see it, James? I was looking oh, this way, but you could tell just because the light dimmed out over here. My stomach's bulged out. I feel like it's colder. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't say anything it's about so that. Cool. It's full of ribs and all that stuff. James has a food baby. So, <laughs> David really hooked us up with a great dinner. We didn't even get to eat the cake that we got. Like, we're, 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 we're so full. Honestly, this would be a cool place to do a podcast right here with all this stuff in the background. Yeah, like for that. sports then really sure. Cool. But this is where Bridget right here would do her podcasts with Patty Negri, me, and Scott Michaels. From Dearly Departed Did you see tours. the seance table was down here? This is the seance table. There are a couple of leaves that go in and make it about an eight foot table. Oh wow. And we use this room. And this is like, has so many act actions in here and activity. I want to see a wine bottle fly off the shelf like you caught. Can you, can you guys, Spirits, can you knock over one of the, the, the uh, teddy bears over there? Omar wants to see a teddy bear fly. That would be cool. Yes, it would. Because if they did it on command, I'd be like, oh, thank you. I'm excited when guests come to visit. You got company, spirits. Enjoy yourselves. Come on. Especially if they're skeptics. Instead of sitting there, go and I was gonna say, lie down on the okay. on the bed and see if anything happens. Let's see if you get dragged up to the corner of the ceiling. That's the room where he got dragged up to the corner of the ceiling. It happened in there? Wait, that who was, was that again? Size bed. He was my key grip, Charles Gould. And it was a queen size bed, and he was literally dragged up to the corner, this corner in that room, the right side corner of the ceiling. Well, James is too heavy. The spirit world is 100% real. We've seen things, it's heard real things. Real and dangerous. You saw that gosh darn fog and mist at the end of the hallway that then. Unexplainable. I, I don't want to get dragged up to the ceiling, but if there's anything that you want to do in here. I'm gonna close the door. The next... Alright. I mean, can you make one of these paintings fly off the wall or something? Without breaking it, of course. So they had that keyboard in here and it started playing on its own. It was four people on the bed and they all freaked out. And it was right before, actually no, it was after. And then after that, the keyboard played for these four people and they, they freaked out, got up. I mean, they were just chilling on the bed, relaxing. Dude, I can fall asleep. I'm so tired. I'm wearing my watch that has my Florida time because we're on California time right now. Three hours behind. So, but I'm still on Eastern time. So it's 4:22 in the morning in Florida. So yeah, I could easily fall asleep right now, like in three seconds. There was some trigger words that I saw on some of the security footage, and one of them was something about mummifications or hurting animals. Is there a spirit here that doesn't like when animals get hurt? You 
feeling anything off in here? Not really. I'm just. I think it's colder than last time. It is colder. Yeah, I, I, I don't feel anything. All right. Well, maybe there's nothing here tonight. Ah, ah. ah. Oh, my ear. Ah. ah. I just got like a strong like, like a pressure like. I had it. I had it upstairs on the second floor too. It's like a. A stinging feeling like in my left ear. I don't know. It could be the elevation here. All right. I'm not here to disturb you. you. Can't follow us home. Rest in peace. Do you ever get any ear pain? Like, yeah. Here? Yeah. I've never gotten, like, I, I'm. No, oh, welcome to the Omen House. I've been getting these, like, sharp ear pains. In this room. Also, I forgot to mention, we've also had experiences where you feel like a cold spot that's like a column of cold air, and you go like this, and you go, all right, it's not here, but it's, nope, it's here, and then it's, it starts to move around. What's in here? Oh, that's the, um, just the, uh, oh. what do you call it, the audio video center. Ah, uh, 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 gotcha. I was about to tilt in your face. Uh, look, look what's happening. It's moving all by itself. I might really fall asleep now. This is the recline to fall asleep. I'm kidding. I'm going to need you to wake up, though, because we got a long drive back to the hotel. Are you getting that pain in your ear? Yeah, right as I got to this spot, so I'm about to go, and I start feeling this, like, pressure. Just start to gently start to push in on my eardrums. I'm like, one. yeah, okay, okay, this shit. you you go go walk in there. My it got worse as I got close to All the right. door. I hope my left ear didn't start like oh, it messed up again. Light switches on the left, like in the wall. So oh, there's a video of a wine bottle like getting tossed to the ground from here, and that camera right over there caught it. David How do you does guys have feel it. In walking in here because it's starting to bug me now again. How's your ear, Omar? Uh, it's it hasn't bothered me right now. It's like it's fine. But you know what I notice when you're having that ear pain, I'm not. Oh, God. And then when you're not, I am. I'm so happy for you. you. Back. Me. <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I supposed to it say? It It does. Yeah. It's 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 getting worse. I can. You feel um, like a stomach pain? Yeah. I think you just All got it. All of a sudden, or is it from indigestion? Just got it. You just got I think it's gas. from ribs and <laughs> chocolate and vegetables. And... <laughs> Who told you to eat the chocolate and the ribs it's and the vegetables? It's asparagus. It's still this dull kind of pain right in front of my ear, right like in, where the jaw connects at the top. That's where mine is. Like, I was and doing it. And it hurts. And it really f hurts. Not I wonder good. if you're feeling the same pain I was feeling. I'm feeling something. I don't like it, though. That's for sure. It's right, right here, right there. It's right in front of the ear, but right where the jawbone connects to the skull. Mine was actually like inside of my like head, like deep in my ear canal. It was weird. So intense, you can <laughs> feel it all around. Your body. <laughs> 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 You're having pain in one ear, I was giving you a wet willy in the other. Uh, no. Were you trying going out to this door again? I was trying to mess with them. Oh, yeah. You know what you should put down here? Just a suggestion: some mirrors. Because mirrors are portals, and if like you know how you say you, you really like to leave think the. You need more. <laughs> well, I mean, it time. might give them some. Oh, it's exercise. Did it twice. As you're doing that, the light started dimming on and off. They liked it. Do and you like, guys like the idea of having? Oh, mirrors? oh, oh my God! God. Oh. Oh. oh, I was just oh. about to say we've been down here for 15 minutes. Mirrors and the lights haven't acted up at all. And all. Do you stuff. want some mirrors in here? Oh, 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 all right. Please confirm that you want David to put some mirrors down oh, here. Jesus Christ. Three mirrors. How about. Oh, 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 out of here because when you assholes bug out i'm stuck here by my little ass if self i come alone. back i'm gonna bring some mirrors okay Great. Would, would, mirrors. would that make Pocket you happy oh. get me out of here get me oh. out of here get me out of here oh. goodbye oh. Fuck you. We're gonna get the oh. out. no you oh. have to come back oh. and you better bring your goddamn mirrors or else i'm gonna deal with the fallout of these spirits oh. please don't follow me home you stay Piss off. Stay follow here at the home and house. Go home with him. Leave me the f*** alone.
Bond. That was cool. I'm glad you got that. Yeah, we're glad. Again, you're leaving and I'm staying with it. Just remember that. You guys get to go. They don't travel. They stay here and I'm like... Yeah! <laughs> He's shaking yeah. my f***ing head! You're too much of a...